Hey guys, it's Al from Altruistic Channel, and I just wanted to send out a message kind of to my uh, LinkedIn comrades. Um, I just posted a very personal uh, statement that aligns my uh, perspective and communication strategist uh, position, if you will, as, as, as a consultant with uh, my life purpose. And in doing so, I, I realized I might alienate a lot of people that I, uh, uh, I hold near and dear. So I wanted to kind of touch base with the LinkedIn community, people that I respect and admire, uh, because I actually was looking at my list of friends and, and uh, contacts. And I realized I knew a lot of very important people. And I just wanted to kind of give a shout out to those people. I'm not selling anything. I actually am not trying to get anything out of you. Actually, what I wanted to do was actually focus you on a new reality. I'm seeing the buzzword innovation everywhere and how companies are striving for uh, innovative solutions. And as the king <laughs> of... Uh, Nothing in particular other than possibly giving you a different perspective on life. I'm a king with no kingdom, if you will. I have a very interesting vantage point, which is if you're going to use the word innovation, don't just rely on it being a physical thing, uh, some sort of thing that you can sell or something that you're going to bring to the larger market. Sometimes being innovative is something as simple as standing up for who you are, aligning your responsibilities in your vocation with what it is that you believe you're to, here on the planet to do. Um, it takes some bravery, as I, uh, as I just have encountered, but all it did was present me with a wider array of possibility in this world. Because there are things that we can do for the betterment of man while still being leaders in our, our industries. You know, if you're a communication specialist, then maybe Aligning yourself with charities that deal with uh, illiteracy problems or uh, aligning yourself with mentorship programs where you are mentoring young people who really don't have another outlet to be mentored in and, and are losing hope in the education system. Education system is not perfect and I, I do call for reform, but for you, you may not need to reform all things. Maybe you just want to be part of the community again and give back for the directors. Directors out there, you know, it's a heavy responsibility to be the director of a department or to be a visionary behind the direction that you will take as a company entity. So maybe innovation for you could mean something as simple as aligning yourself with directing society, becoming part of the Volunteers of America or with uh, AmeriCorps, aligning yourself with actually giving back to the community by actually hosting events that don't necessarily sell anything but just show presence in the fact that you believe in humanity. These are not lofty ideas. It's not innovation that will pioneer a new a revolutionary thing. These are things you can do in live time. A way of giving thanks for the fact that you've been rewarded with the ability to move up in a corporate ladder. But more importantly, also showcasing the fact that you believe in yourself. When you give back to the community, you give back to yourself and you honor the universe and you honor whatever it is you find to be important. And when you brand yourself, It'll be just one more thing that you can be proud of, that you don't sell, but it's just something that's known. When you give that much positive energy and love back into the universe, it comes back to you tenfold. You know, the, the terminology of the, the king with no kingdom actually came from a tarot card reading that I stumbled across one day when I'm, I'm, a, I'm always into looking at stuff for in, you know, intellect's sake and for what's true and what's not true. And I realized that in the end, I can't tell you how to believe, but I know that if you have risen to power, at some point, you start to feel empty without the actual power of being able to give back. And it doesn't need to always be something really, really, really uh, over the top. It can be something simple, like just a moment of your day to say thank you to someone that you owe a lot of debt, uh, that you are indebted to. For example, a teacher. There are teachers across this whole great country and throughout the world that are suffering the ramifications of an unjust system in the education. We are so busy arguing with each other about how it should be unveiled that we're not worrying about the process of who's actually unveiling it. And the weight of the world is quite heavy. So why not take some of it off? Privately donate to a teacher that you believe in or that you have in, uh, experience in them being a changing person, someone who changed and morphed your life. And give back to them. Give them enough to pay for like 20 books. Or give them back, you know, send a check for like a $50 to do something. All of these altruistic and philanthropic things are just not to sell anything, but to find home in who you are and to represent the best of you going forward. The universe is looking for leaders, if you will. 
Leaders who want to actually give back to the world and find a place for themselves within alignment of what their, their job function is. Once you reach the second half of your life in your 40s like I am, it starts to become increasingly more important to give back and to find a place for yourself. But when you use innovation, be ready to be innovative, both in theory and in life. And that's all I wanted to say. I'm not, I don't want anything from you other than to just spread the word. If you find truth and wanting to give back, then align yourself with your friends that can give back. Dedicate one weekend a year, if that, where you go and you volunteer in person. Volunteers of America and AmeriCorps are doing amazing things for this country. Instead of waiting for a disaster to strike, why not be part of the solution? Instead of engaging in conversations to deal with like Britney Spears and what she's doing, let Britney Spears be. She has to live her own path. You live yours. Why don't you set yourself up to be the, the topic point? Why don't you do something so awesome for someone else that's outside of your norm, in addition to all your stress, that will actually work to alleviate that stress? And become the buzzword for the next phase or the next crave that's going to crowd, you know, across the nation. But it starts by being innovative inside. So when you use innovation, be innovative. And that's all I want to say. That's uh, kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just lead by example. I know this could be a complete flop, and I'm okay with that. You know, as leaders in the industry, we know that it doesn't always work out. But I know that for me, I've never been happier with aligning myself with my corporate vision and that of myself. I'm honored that I was able to find my path, and I know that it will be its success because of the fact that it does align itself perfectly. Everything from here on out is just a reward. But all it took was me literally being innovative and using the word in the proper context to find my answer. So that's just what I wanted to say. I know a lot of you may not run into this, but if you find truth in this, share it with your friends, people you care and love, because hopefully we can redefine how we are as a society. And the market is changing. And people are asking for you to live outside of just yourself. It's not just about us anymore. It's about the collective, whatever you find that to be. And so that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys are well. I wish you the best. And uh, go out there and do something back, uh, for humanity. Uh, that's it. This is Alpha Altruistic Channel. Uh, and I'm asking, like I always do, have you made a mistake today?